Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to Random Thoughts and Observations. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. And today we're going to discuss this phenomenal life, the amazing ways we are connected with our universe. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this name because I'm just not good at pronouncing names. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all the blog readers and blog followers, all of our YouTube watchers and YouTube subscribers that uh, we've come in contact with. Thank you for uh, the publicists and publishers that we've come in contact with. Thank you for sending your sons down the cross to save us of our very many sins. It's in Christ, most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Now, anybody that's run into us, there's no question in their mind that we are Christian and we believe in what many people call the creationism, that uh, the story of creation. And we, we definitely believe that. And the thing about it is, we know that God created the universe, but we don't know how he did it. And so the two, uh, some people call uh, creation a theory, we know it's a fact, but the uh, creation um, idea and uh, the Big Bang, which is a theory, the Big Bang theory, could coexist, as could many of the other things, where all of a sudden, boom, a whole bunch of stuff was compressed into a uh, um, small mass and exploded. And then over the billions of years that uh, the universe has been expanding. And there's nothing wrong with that concept. There's nothing wrong with that idea. And it can coexist with uh, creationism. And nothing wrong with that. Well, in this book, This Phenomenal Life, The Amazing Ways We Are Connected With Our Universe, it starts out there and it discusses uh, the Big Bang Theory. And then it tells us about a lot of other things, about how our DNA is related with other DNA and how um, the different uh, elements that were all made up of the same basic elements, um, same basic uh, chemicals and gases and that sort of thing as plants and other species. And there's nothing wrong with that idea. You know, I don't believe that I came from a gorilla, but uh, there's nothing wrong with the idea that we share some basic DNA. It also talks about some of the other scientific findings and it presents it in such a, a wonderful way, a very interesting way, and it gives a lot of uh, actual facts, not just theories, but actual facts. At, uh, and the drawings in here are very creative. Some people will call it whimsical, but I don't typically use the word whimsical to describe anything. But they're very colorful, very bright, and uh, you know, just very interesting. The author does an excellent job at uh, giving this information. And the thing about it is, this book would give us a great opportunity to open up a dialogue with friends and our kids to discuss our beliefs in uh, a living God and to discuss um, their beliefs and to help guide our children, to help give them some um, basic information and to show how things could coexist. We think this author's did an excellent job. We give this book all five stars. The illustrations alone are worth the five stars, but uh, we give this book all five stars. We think it's very well written and very well researched, and we think that you'll enjoy it. If you read this book and you like it, or if you read this book and you hate it, please drop us an email or again these videos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. If you're watching this on uh, Amazon and you find this review to be helpful, please give us a helpful vote. And if not, of course, uh, vote accordingly. And if you're watching this over on our YouTube channel, please subscribe to this channel if you would and like us if you would. And we thank you. Wow, Gindy, science, huh? Yes, yeah, science. Uh, I don't know about science, you know. I mean, uh, I didn't do so good in that back when I was uh, a real life kid. You didn't? Well, you're only five years old. What kind of science could you have been studying? Oh, not much. Uh, but uh, I, I do like science now, especially when you read that to me. And it's very interesting. So, people, if you, you want to read something that's very interesting, please grab this book. And if you want to see more of me at the end of these videos, drop me an email over seymourhamlet at gmail.com. That's the letter C, period, M-O-O-R-E, period, H-A-M-L-E-T at gmail.com. I also have one of them twip things, you know, the twipper. Anyway, the handle's up there somewhere. I don't know how it gets there, but it gets there. Anyway, the handle's up there somewhere, and if you look at it, and again, you'll probably mess it up when he has me say it. It's uh, that funny looking at sign, then a capital C, underscore, K, 
capital M-O-O-R-E underscore capital H-A-M-L-E-T and drop me a, 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 a twoop or whatever it's called and uh, let me know how much you like me and tell Gindy to keep me and thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.